Hi there everyone and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today's pro tip comes from Richard Sadler. Richard used to be a tour player in the USA and he's coached many county players and now he works out of Hell Golf and Driving Range and he's set up an acclaimed program called 16 Weeks to Better Golf. So take it away Richard. Right, we're down here at Hell Golf Range today and my name's Richard Sadler. I'm going to run through some of the things I work with as far as achieving the correct posture for golf clubs that vary in length by quite a lot. I stand a consistent distance from the end of the club, the grip end of the golf club. The way I achieve that, if I just put this down a second, is to run through a little drill whereby I form my grip, and I've got my sand iron here to start with, with the club touching my belt buckle. Now from here, if I stand up straight and then just gently extend my arms away until they're comfortably straight, not to the point where it hunches my shoulders, just comfortably straight, it creates a distance between the grip end of the club and my belt buckle of about a hand span. If I can retain that distance and bow forward from my hips until the club rests squarely on the floor, then I'm in the correct posture for this length club. Ensuring that my body weight stays in the middle of my feet I've now created the correct spine angle, the correct tilt forward for my hips to achieve the correct plane of golf swing with this club. And the nice thing about this drill, it works with any club. If I go all the way to the other end of the bag with my driver, again starting with the, the club, pointing at my belt buckle parallel to the floor, extending my arms away until they're comfortably straight and then I tilt forward, you'll notice my spine angle, my tilt forward for my hips isn't nearly as bowed forward. Now that has a very, very big effect on the plane of the golf swing. I've got these alignment rods on the floor here, and I'm gonna run through one of the little drills I use to ensure the club moves away from the golf ball on the correct plane. With my sand iron, once I've run through my drill to get into the correct posture, you'll notice as I move the club away from the golf ball, when it gets parallel to the floor, it's also parallel to the target line. It's basically an extension of the line of my toes. And as I swing through the ball and my body rotates to the target, at the same position on the through swing, again, the shaft of the club runs parallel to the floor and is parallel to the target. That means that with a shorter club, a sand iron, the continuation of this movement will be more upright. My spine is tilted more forward and the club has moved less inward to get to this reference point. So the continuation of that will be more upwards. If we go down to a longer club again, all the way down to a driver, you'll notice the club again arrives at a point where it's both parallel to the floor and parallel to the target line by the time it gets over my alignment rods here, but it's moved a greater distance inwards to get there. So the continuation of that would be a flatter arc to the swing. And that is predetermined by how far I've tilted forward from my hips. So now we're going to run through and hit one, and let's see how it looks. So here's my, my sand wedge. Again, grip, then setting my posture, then setting my ball position, and from there if I turn around my spine angle, I can make contact with that ball very well. If I go to a longer club, my driver, Again, running through that same drill at posture, starting with the grip against my belt buckle, extending it away, bowing forward from my hips. My spine is now much less tilted forward. I've ensured the ball position is well left of my center of pressure. That creates a flatter swing arc, which is great for hitting along the club. 